Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to be talking about Major Hurricane Ada making landfall as a Category 4 and then re-emerging in the Caribbean as a tropical storm on Saturday and then heading towards Florida on Sunday. So before I do get started, if you do like weather-related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family that may be in path of Ada. So let's get right to it. Here is the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center as of 4 p.m. And Ada finally came ashore only about an hour ago as a strong Category 4 hurricane packing 140 mile per hour winds as it really slowed down this afternoon, moving in westward at five miles an hour. This will propagate uh, inland, and over the next uh, 12 hours, only downgrade into a hurricane as it's slow movement, dumping some extremely heavy rain and some 15 to 20 foot, 20 foot storm surge. It'll eventually move off to the west into Honduras as a tropical storm. On the outskirts of El, El Salvador, you'll get hit a little bit as well as uh, Guatemala City. But then by Thursday, it'll drop down to a depression around Belize. You'll get inundated with some very heavy rainfall. And then only by Friday afternoon, it'll reemerge into uh, the, the Caribbean as a depression. And then eventually get into the middle of the Caribbean as a storm. And then heading towards Florida by sunday so areas to watch it's ada is forecast to regain tropical storm strength as it moves across portions of cuba and approaches southern florida this weekend while it is too soon to determine the exact timing and magnitude and location of the possible impacts from the wind and rainfall interest in the in cuba southern florida and the florida keys should monitor their system through the week so let's kind of look at the bigger picture of what what's playing out. There's three areas of interest I want you to focus on. Obviously, this is the big one that we've been talking about here is uh, Ada. But there's also an interest right here where there was a uh, tropical storm development in the Pacific. But this is just going to safely move away from water and just kind of fizzle out. So it's not going to affect any land. But there's also, let me turn your attention here. I know a lot of the focus has been on Ada. But this area of concern is a tropical wave in the main development region. And you can see it's pretty healthy. It's got a lot of whites. It's showing some very, uh, a lot of lightning with it. This may be the start of possibly Theta, our next storm that may be forming. So I will definitely uh, keep on the, the lookout for that. But let's zoom into uh, Ada right now. And you can kind of see the bullseye. It's made landfall, but it's really not uh, deteriorated its, its structure by any means. It is a perfect circumference, uh, still packing 140 mile per hour winds, uh, hitting uh, that area. But you have the outflow. You can see the outflow just expands uh, hundreds of miles with some uh, very heavy rain at times. And uh, just some of it's hitting land, some of it's hitting water. But this will be sporadic as this hits land it'll kind of spread out it's uh, thunderstorms and uh, you might get increased thunderstorm activity in uh, jamaica throughout the evening as well as tomorrow and especially the cayman islands as this kind of rips apart as it hits uh, inland packing uh, those stronger winds into uh, moving into uh, honduras but today it made landfall about an hour ago. It was slowly moving. It was basically moving due west at uh, 15 miles an hour. It slowed to nine miles an hour. It slowed to seven miles an hour. Then it was down to five. And at one point it got down to three. And then it took a basically a southwest turn, a nosedive and hugged the coast, which was very unfortunate moving three miles an hour, dumping some extremely heavy rain because a lot of the eye was, was inland at that point. And then it finally took like a northwest wobble. And when it did that, it finally came ashore. But it brought a 15 to 20 foot storm surge in the town of uh, Porto uh, Cabazas. And I've seen some of the pictures coming out of there. There was some extreme flooding, as you can imagine, with a 15 foot storm surge and some extremely torrential rains and only moving at three miles an hour. And it's picked up a little bit of speed. 
but it's still it's only moving at five so this is really dumping uh some incredible rainfall in this area and storm surge is prevalent so uh things are not looking good for this that area uh, so, so eventually it'll move off to the to the west and by uh, wednesday it'll be still a, a minimal hurricane at that point as it's slowly trying to lose its punch but these bands will expand outward and dump in some heavier rains over uh, Jamaica and the Cayman Islands again as this is moving westward, dumping some of those heavier rains into Honduras, getting into portions of El Salvador, Guatemala City, City and then eventually getting into uh, Belize by Thursday, dumping those heavier rains. And then it will get to in towards uh, Cozumel and um, uh and eventually Cancun on Friday. So no one's pretty left. No one's going to be left out on this storm. Everybody's going to get it across the Yucatan in some form of fashion. Because by Friday, it'll try to start to reemerge back into the Caribbean. But uh, Cancun will be under the gun by then with those some some of those heavier rains. But by Saturday, it'll reemerge into the Caribbean. And here's the latest uh, GFS model showing us a tropical storm, keeping its characteristics, keeping the name Ada as it comes offshore. Then you're, the Cayman Islands are going to be having to deal with those uh, heavier rains as this is going to be portions over the areas on, uh, on uh, Saturday. So let's kind of take a look at the big picture. Here's the, the latest uh, vertical, vertical velocity index. This is kind of implying where areas that are upward rising motion, and you can kind of see where it reemerges off into the Caribbean again. We're going to back into another favorable time frame that between the 7th and the 11th of some pretty upward rising motion air. So this, this does have characteristics of it could regenerating and We'll just see how uh, how strong it's able to get, but it, it, there's a definitely a bull, bullish signal that it's going to regenerate into uh, the Caribbean. If we expand the view and get it towards the end of the 13th, this is another area of concern, and this may be that what we are looking at, as, as I showed you earlier, with theta possibly forming. So it's going into an area of really susceptible upward rising motion air by the by uh, the Virgin Islands. Uh, by around the 12th or 13th. So we have to see if this will be forming as well. So I'll definitely keep you uh, posted on that. We are going into a favorable phase of the MJO. We're going into phase eight and phase one. And that's why uh, Ada was able to develop. This is around the first. And you can see this is about the around the seventh. But you can take a look at it's take, taking a nose dive into the neutral phase. And as we get into the 9th and 11th, this as we get closer into the neutral phase, this is implying that it's getting towards land. And this would be susceptible of possibly getting close to Florida. As we take a look at the latest uh, congruent of all the models, uh, we did have a, a low pressure here earlier in the week. That has moved on. We have high pressure over here. So that was the uncertainty of this low pressure as as earlier looked like it was going to possibly stall out around here. But this low has kind of moved away and it's allowing this system to continue northward. And now it looks like uh, Florida will be under the gun. We you know, we've had a basically a hit on the U.S. landfall from May june july august september october and now we're in november and it looks like florida may be in the crosshairs of a uh, a landfall potentially by uh early next week or if not uh sunday so we'll just have to see how strong this is able to get but the steering currents beyond that are not very strong so this kind of meanders around uh for a little bit here's the latest uh, european model kind of implies by Monday morning we could have a tropical storm knocking on the doorsteps of South Florida. So uh, we don't really know, you know, how how strong this is able to get and when it emerges and how strong it's able to get between here and, and uh, South Florida. But it definitely looks like uh, Florida may be under the gun of a uh, tro some sort of tropical system uh, by at least early next week. But by Saturday, as this reemerges, we're going to be dealing with some extremely heavy rainfall as this tropical system starts to get its act together with those three plus inch rainfall rates. So I do expect by Saturday, if you live in the Cayman Islands, you should be 
pummeled with some extremely heavy rainfall. And if you live in Jamaica, you'll be getting those outskirt bands again. Uh, so, so, so you might have a little bit of a lull on uh, Thursday and then Friday as this is well away from you. But by, by uh, Saturday, as this kind of reemerges in the Caribbean, you could be in those crosshairs again and getting some of those heavier rains uh, onto the island. But as this moves uh, further, further north, that rain will start to move into Cuba. Those three and four inch per hour rainfall amounts, you know, potentially as some extremely heavy rainfall makes its way towards uh, South Florida. And by Monday morning, they could be under the gun of those uh, extremely heavy rainfalls into uh, South Florida, into Miami, into the Florida Keys area. And we'll just have to see beyond that because the steering currents look fairly light once we get beyond this because we have a very strong uh, cold front heading in from the United States. So, hey, I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Uh, do like this video. Definitely leave your comments below. And don't forget to uh, ring the bell and subscribe to my channel to catch the latest video where I protect you before and after the storm.